Okay, so today I'm painting on the southeastern side of Maui. There's a look at the finished painting. So here's some environmental shots. That's kind of my scene right there that I'm going to be painting the ocean with that island. It's a really epic beach. <clears throat> so today I wanted to talk about how I kind of handle watercolors and kind of my process and my, my thoughts behind this as this painting is going. And it'll kind of explain some of what's going on here. So since I, I started out mostly with acrylics and with I did a lot of oil painting, uh, now that I'm using watercolors a lot, I tend to treat my watercolors like oil paintings. And what I mean by that is, as you can see how this painting builds up, I'm, I'm painting very directly with watercolor. I almost, sometimes I try to, depending on what I'm painting, I try to go for the, instead of building up the painting in big, large, light washes. You can see on this island, I'm going directly for the color that I'm seeing. And sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, it's, it's an interesting method to try out. It always ends up drying a little bit lighter. So sometimes you'll see uh, that I have to do a second layer in some parts, especially for the darks, for the darker values. But I think I did most of this painting in either one or two layers. So here we go, another layer with the darks there. Uh, but the sky was only one layer. I think most of the greenery on the island was one layer. Um, the darks there, I had to hit two layers. So it, it's an interesting approach for watercolor. It doesn't always work, but it's, it's a cool method to try out, like try to just paint directly as possible. Um, I'm always experimenting. Sometimes I do like building up in light washes. It depends on the scene. It depends on how much time I have. And when I'm doing small plain airs like this, you know, especially if it's like a sunset or something very quickly, then I paint as directly as possible. I don't have time to do a bunch of different layers. As you can see there, I glazed the ocean once again to really give it a strong saturation. And uh, some greenery on top of the hill there, just give it a little bit of detail. And uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this plein air adventure. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace. <laughs>